Hello everyone. On this video, you will learn how to set up GitHub and use GitHub source control on Visual Studio 2022. On this video, I'll be showing you how to create a project in Visual Studio, add your current GitHub account to Visual Studio, add project to a repository in GitHub, make some changes to that project, push those changes, and then pull those changes back in. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is open up Visual Studio 2022. We're gonna create a new project. doesn't matter what project it is. You guys can use whatever you want. So this is going to be Git test project. I'm going to create. Now that your project is created, this is my basic code. I'm not changing anything. I'm not doing anything yet. All right, next step we're going to do is, is add your GitHub account into Visual Studio 2022. So first thing you're going to do is down here on theme, go ahead and select the tab Tim, Team Explorer. If it's not there, just go to View and then select Team Explorer. Go ahead and click on it. Over here, there's going to be a drop down called Manage Connections. Connect to a project. If your project is not there on this drop down list, if your GitHub account is not there, go ahead and click Add Account and select GitHub. It's going to prompt you to enter username and password on a web browser go ahead and sign in now your github account it's linked to your visual studio account let's go ahead and close it go ahead and cancel here now next step it's going to be click tools under tools go to options under options you're going to look for source control and you're going to click plugin settings on plugin settings on this drop down here it should be none, and by default, you're gonna click Get, and then you're gonna have, go ahead and click OK. All right. Once that's done, go back to your Solution Explorer. If you don't see your Solution Explorer, go ahead and go to View, and Solution Explorer is right here. Right-click on your project, and the next thing you're gonna do is create a Git repository. Go ahead and click on that. Make sure you make it private so no one sees it, and the name of my repository name is going to be Git test project all this should be already coming from your account and this is on your local machine go ahead and cl click create and push give it a second all right so it's created it as you guys can see here now there's a lock locks got created so let's go ahead and open up my the github account and let's as you guys can see here my git task project it's here and these are all the files from my Git project, from my Visual Studio. So you don't have to leave Visual Studio in order to publish stuff to GitHub. So what we're gonna do next, it's we're gonna make a change to our controller here. It doesn't matter what the change is. So let's add another parameter. Now let's add another item to this array here and then click save. So once you click save, you see there's a check mark here. Check mark means there's a pending change waiting. Okay, in order to push a change to GitHub, all you gotta do is right click on your project, go to Git, and go to commit or stash. Let's add a comment change to our values controller. Go ahead and click commit. Once you commit, you can choose what branch you wanna send it to. In this case, we're just gonna do master. And then all I have to do is click push. And there we go. Now if we open it up, open GitHub again, hit refresh, and it, you can see it was edit and if yeah, and there you go. And here's our change, which is 17 seconds ago under our controller. And I changes, here's a change set. It says change changes to our con values controller. So let's do another change. So you guys can kind of understand here a little bit. So let's change now home controller. Let's open up home controller. Instead of this home page, it's going to be home page, our home. Save it. Once again, if you guys see the little check mark, and if you hover, it says pending edit. Same thing. You can do, or you can click here and get changes at the bottom. Right click your project, get, commit our stash, and then we're going to do change to our home controller. 
we can we can select commit all, commit all and push, commit all and sync. Let's do commit all and push. So this one, you don't have to click the push button. It pushes ev everything, everything automatically for you. So let's go back there to our Git repository, refresh it. As you can see, it was updated 14 seconds ago. And let's see where our change is. So there it is, 14 seconds ago. And it is controller under our controller. If we click on controller, you're gonna see in four, 24 seconds ago, our home controller was changed. Two minutes ago, our values controllers were, controller was changed. Um, and let's say if somebody else pushes a change to the project and you wanna get latest, you wanna get their change. All you gotta do is go to get changes at the bottom here and you're gonna click pull. This is pulling all the changes, all any changes that somebody else did to your code. Or let's say if you open this project somewhere else, you're pulling all the changes for that project into Visual Studio. So that's pretty much it guys. If you guys want another tutorial on GitHub or source control, just drop a comment below. Thanks very much guys.